Welcome to another video from Preact. Today's video, I'm going to show you swarming. Swarming allows you to bring the right subject matter experts all into a real time conversation, which in turn, hopefully reflectively and easily help resolve clients issues. Let's take a look. So the first thing we need to do in order to get this working, um, you can see in customer service hub, we need to make sure that down here under the embedded chat using teams, the Teams collaboration and chat is turned on basically. So we just need to make sure that all of these are turned on. Once we've done that, we can come down here to the swarming using Teams. There's a few things we can do in here. We can change, you know, the, what the agencies, it's the guide just by clicking on edit in here, just prompt really for them. Um, we activate the case form for swarming. So I've activated this case form. I've got a few extra fields and some business rules saying if it's this type of query, then show these fields, you know, it becomes relevant for the person then who's collaborating through teams to see the information from the case without having to have a license you know for customer service um, down here we've got some conditions some rules so again i'll just show you see more i've just said call it billing request and i've said you know if swarm request contains the word billing then set the skill to be billing and it's simply we click create rule here you can create their conditions and then you say if these conditions are met then basically set the skill level here. So I've got a few few in there for you know warehousing. If if in the, the body the word stock is contained, then warehousing will be set. Again, you can have as many of those rules in as there as you need to. Down here, when we create the swarm, who gets added to the swarm? Just to show you here, we can't change the manager. So if I'm the owner, obviously my manager will automatically be added to this. I can't take that off. I've ticked account owner as well, so I think whoever the account owner is would want to be notified about this. You can also tick team admin as well if needed. And this is over and above the expert that we're looking for with the right skill set. The expert sits over here in skills. So if we click go to skills, what this will do, if I just flick over here, you can see in resource scheduling app, we've got resources. We need to add our resources in here. Let's just look at one of these. So Peter is in here. And you can see over here his skill set is he can do warehousing and he can do billing so he's part of those two if we request this one of these skills then peter would get a notification and he can accept this through teams as well that's how we set it up we just now flick over here to the actual case itself there we go so here's a case i created earlier typical scenario somebody's got a problem with a delivery of a laptop we're going through the case process flow can see here we've got courier tracking number order number and basically you know Jake said that he ordered a laptop five days ago he's paid for the next day delivery he hasn't received it he wants to check whether we got the stock to come out immediately so he he needs it and he wants a refund of his 699 so in this scenario I need to speak to the warehousing team to check that we've got the stock levels I need to speak with the billing team to issue the refund if and when we find out that the the delivery wasn't made and we need to speak with the transport team to go and check the tracking number to find out what's happened with the delivery so once all these things are in play it's simply we click on here we've got a, a button in the ribbon called create swarm as soon as i click this you can see it will then give you sort of the draft swarm down here we've got the case details so you can see tracking number order number delivery and again this is where i've got a few rules to say if subject is tracking delivery show these details you can have different business rules on that case form if needed um, we're then saying something issue with delivery billing and transport teams required you can see as i'm filling this in because we've got those rules it's saying if this contains billing or transport you see down here the skill set is set it's setting the skill for billing delivery and transport hasn't found warehousing yet because I haven't got anything in here for warehousing I've added the rule into the body here for warehousing so now we can add some context to the body of this I'll just add some details so this is what Jake said the description from the case um, we've then said you know warehousing please can you check stock levels for this product billing I'm asking them a question and I'm saying transport check the checking number because we've got the word stock in here that met, met one of our rule criteria you can see warehousing has been added down the bottom um, so it's looking for three people with these skills and um, we can add up to more skills we manually go in here and add in another skill if we need to um, 
But as soon as we've got the right skills and we've got the right questions in here, we simply go save and send invitation. This will automatically go to the manager and the account owner. It will link a Teams chat over here on the right hand side. You can see it's now linked here. So it's telling me automatically that Chris is the account owner. Chris owns the account for this case. So he's ABC Limited's account manager. Um, Fiona is Mark's direct line manager. So she's been notified as well. And can you see here we've got pending in here. So this is where it's going to go and look for the expert in this field with the right skill sets, looking for these three skill sets. So I'm just going to show you over here. Let me just bring up um, Tom's record. So uh, you can see I've just brought a Martin's record, actually not Tom's. So you can see Martin's here. This is what the end user would then see. We would get a power automate, um, which sends a card. You can see the context of the card here. You're invited to the swarm session. It gives you the details of the swarm. So and you're being asked. So basically you get involved with this because you've got a skill set that's delivering transport. So he can now accept this. By clicking accept, he will then get added to this swarm. And you can see it will start a new chat over here. You can click open swarm chat, or equally we can click over here. Now, again, at any point in time, if he wants to see the details that's coming from the case, we've got the button at the top here that says swarm details. You can see just by clicking on here, this user again who's in Teams is not licensed for the you know customer service license still gets to see the context and read only format just by clicking on here. Obviously, then this person's picking this up from a billing capacity, so he can then start writing his reply down here, and then that will come back against you know against the swarm. We see that, so I'll just start writing reply. Mine is just saying to Mark, yeah, look, we've checked it and we can say it's been lost in transit. If we just go back into the actual case itself, you can see over here against the swarm, we can see this has now been added. If I just give this a refresh, this will change from pending to say an expert's now been added against this. There you go. We've got the message back for Martin. And over here we can see skills matched. So he's picked this up from the delivery transport point of view. That's next to his name. Now, I'll just quickly send a message from the other two that would have picked this up from Billingham Warehouse, and then you can see how we can then see all these details in here. Peter has been matched on two skills because he works in Billingham Warehousing, as we saw earlier. So he got matched for both of these areas. Peter's then picked this up, and he can actually see the whole team's chat message from, from Martin and from Mark. So he's replied to Martin saying he's going to refund the 699 over here. And then he's replying to Mark saying that we've actually got 12 of those laptops in stock as well. And he's going to get a new one sent out. Hopefully you can see how, you know, we can work with these swarms and pull in all the sort of subject matter experts all into one area. We can then hopefully get a resolution quite quickly through through the team's conversations that are linked. Um, once we've done so, it's simply we go close swarm and then we can you know, give it some more details. Um, I just put resolve. You can add some more details against the swarm, say how useful it was or whatever. Describe this. Close this off, and then simply the the agent can then go through and then just resolve the case accordingly. You just click on the back. We can go back to the case. We can then navigate through this, and we can just resolve the case off. Again, the, at any point in time, this chat is still linked to this case. Hopefully, you found the uh, the video on swarms useful. Um, please get in touch with us if you've got any other questions regarding this or anything else. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to the Preact YouTube channel and see more videos about Dynamics 365 and the Power Platform in the future.